It was a very emotional day yesterday for many people in the Valley. Thousands of law officers from all around the country helped fill Shills Arena for Fargo Police Officer Jason Mosier's funeral. The service had even the strongest law enforcement officers wiping away tears. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric was inside Shields Arena for the funeral. He shows us this morning how it was a lasting tribute to Officer Mosier. Bagpipes punctuated the silence inside Shields Arena. The beauty of the music and the sorrow weighing heavily on attendees bringing many to tears. The floor of the arena packed with 18 people across and 53 rows deep. Scoreboards showing memorials and replay screens hosting slideshows of Officer Mosier's life. Thank you for responding and being our backup on our last call with Edward 143, Officer Jason Mosier. Chief Todd called Officer Mosier a cop's cop, always ready to help out. And Reverend Kevin Kloster, who served as the police department's chaplain for years, wiped away tears several times. Jason's no longer with us. Jason's died. His physical presence will no longer be with us, and so what we have are memories. Reverend Kloster called this a senseless act of violence and a shot that changed lives. Well, this is going to be really hard. I'd like to tell you about my last day with Jason. This is it. The first thing I said to him on Tuesday. It was hard to find a dry eye among the thousands as the Mosier family was presented with flags and thanked for Jason's service to his city and country. I'm not sure how to do this. In the, in the nearly 25 years that I knew Jason, we never talked about this. This isn't something that came up. I'd usually text him when he was at work and say, be safe. Most everyone shed a tear as the honor guard ended the ceremony, whether you knew the man or not. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. I know we both uh, got a chance to obviously watch it yesterday. It was one of the most powerful and moving things uh, I have ever seen. And um, I still am amazed by the people that were able to get up and speak and hold it together as, as well as they did. It was a it was a stirring tribute. Oh, emotional. So many parts had me in tears. And, yeah. and it was a fitting tribute. And it was nice to see so many people there. Well, following the funeral, hundreds of law enforcement officers lined up along 32nd Avenue South in Fargo, where they would begin a 21-mile journey through West Fargo, Moorhead, and Fargo, and were greeted by an outpouring of community support. <laughs> from all over the United States. They want to like support the family and know that they're by their side. He served and protected us, so show respect that we appreciated it. I'm amazed, kind of, and very proud that all the officers came and, and just the community support that's being shown and has been shown throughout the last week and a half. I hope this is something you will never, ever have to see in your lifetime again. If you missed the funeral and want to see some of the very moving tributes along with more of our coverage of the processional, you can watch most of it on our website. Just go to valleynewslive.com.